Hello YouTube, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to discuss one of the domains found on the Excel 2016 exam called Creating Tables. Overall, this domain is going to account for about 15 to 20 percent of the exam, and it's going to cover things like creating and managing tables, managing styles and options, and filtering and sorting the data found in the table. I'm going to go ahead and throw a graphic up just to show you the outline of this domain. In today's video, we're not going to discuss filtering and sorting the data because I've already covered this in a previous video. I'll go ahead and put a link to that video in the description. I'll also go ahead and put a card up so you can just quickly access that. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Excel. Here I have some data in an Excel sheet. And one of the first things that that website tells us that we need to be able to do is to create an Excel table from a cell range. And so what I'm going to do is click and drag my range here so that I have all of my data selected. Now, there are quite a few ways to make a table. The way that I normally do it is on the home tab and in the styles group, click the drop down here, format as a table. And I have a lot of different formatting that I can do from here. However, if it doesn't tell you on the exam a specific style that it wants you to apply, you can always go to the insert tab here at the top and in the tables group, click table. Depending on how your question is asked, you want to be mindful of those two ways. For this, my table has headers and the header is the description here at the top of what the data below represents. I'll keep that checked and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And notice that it went ahead and it converted that into a table. Now that I've created my table, I have the table tools design tab to this table. Notice that if I click off that that tab disappears. If you're ever looking for that tab, it's not there. It's because you haven't actually selected the table. All you need to do is click the table and it will reappear. One of the things you might be asked to do is to insert columns or rows. You should know that columns run up and down and rows run left to right. There are a few ways you can do this. I normally, when I'm working with data, is just go ahead and right click here on the number and click insert. And notice it put one ahead. And I can do that if I right click here on B and click insert. Notice it went ahead and inserted a column for me. However, you could also be in the table and right click, which gives you the insert here. And you could do the same thing insert left, insert above. The opposite of inserting those rows is being able to delete it. What I'm going to do here is just right click on B and click delete and notice that it disappears. I can also do the same from within the table. If I right click within my table, I have the option to delete. I can do the columns or the rows. I'll go ahead and delete the row. Notice it went ahead and disappeared. While we're here inserting and deleting rows, something you might be asked to do on the certification test is instead of deleting columns or rows, hiding columns or rows. It's important to know the difference. The wording of the question might say something similar like remove. That would be delete. But if it said make it to where it's not visible within the worksheet, that means they want you to hide it. And that's just as easy as inserting and deleting. What you can do here is if I select B here, I right click and I click hide. That information, that column is still there. It's just not visible. And if you look very closely at the top of my screen, you can notice that between A and C, it's a little bit thicker, that line. And that's telling me that there's hidden information. Another cool thing is it does tell you A, C. So you know there's a missing column there, and it, it will do the same thing over here on the rows. Now that we've gone ahead and looked at that, what I want to do is go back up here to the Table Tools Design tab, because there's a lot of information here that you need to be made aware of. For example, you can name your table, and that can be very important. That might even be a certification question. You might be asked to do that. Something else you're most likely going to see on the certification test is the table style options here. You know, when we created our table, it asked if we had a header, but we can uncheck that and notice that information disappeared. Let's go back into that, and I can check it back. You have the shading here or banded rows. You can be asked to uncheck that and notice that that banding disappeared. We'll put that back on. You have the first column here, which can make your text bold. Same thing with your last. Of course, you don't see anything. So let me put a couple numbers in real quick. 
That way you can see we have the banded columns instead of banded rows. And notice that it went ahead and shaded those as well. And then something cool here is the total row. And that just allows you to have the simple functions there. And you can change those average max. It's all going to be three. But you have the option of changing the function there in the total row. Because you're most likely going to be asked to do that on the certification test. And then you have the style. So when we originally created our table, we used the insert tab. But we also have the styles group. Maybe you selected the wrong one by accident. Of course, you can hit Control Z and undo what you've done. Or with your table selected, you can go to the table tools design tab. And you can start to see you have the light, medium, and dark sections. That's important. Those are group headings. And it's going to make your life easier on the certification test. That way, you're not hunting through each one of these to try and find the one that it wants you to do. And of course, note that if you hover on a style, it will tell you exactly what the name of that style is. And then the last thing we want to talk about here with the tables is we've made data into a table, but something else you might be asked to do is to remove the table ability from the data. And it might say something like remove the table ability, but keep the formatting. With my cursor here in this table, we're on the table tools design tab. We're in the tools group. And what I want to look at here is convert to range. And if I go ahead and click that, it's going to ask me, do you want to convert the table to a normal range? The answer is yes. It went ahead. It's, this is no longer a table, but it did allow me to keep the formatting. Thank you for watching this video. My hope always as I create new content is that my viewers feel better able to carry out tasks in Microsoft. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification when I release my next video. Do you have a suggestion on a video that I should make? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to create. That way I can better help you.